everybody how's it going today we're going through some must-have apps if you're a video editor let's go how is it going guys and welcome to the olufemi channel we're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible hey everybody how's it going davy i hope everybody's doing really well this video is brought to you by Envato elements but we'll talk about that a bit later today i'm going to go through some plugins and some apps that i use on the daily when i edit video they've made my life easier workflow is smooth as ever and generally it just saved me a lot of time and trouble so let's go straight in now the first app we're talking about is an app called amphetamine now this is free for windows and mac and it's simply sets a timer and keeps your computer awake. If you're anything like me, you finish your video edit and you set it to export, you've gone to make yourself a coffee or a cup of tea or whatever, you come back to your computer in sleep mode. That is so annoying because then you have to restart the export it's a nightmare. With this one, you can set a timer. I do this on the regular. It's super simple to use. You literally tell it how long your session is going to be. I usually do this overnight. If I'm exporting a lot of videos, I'll just set it up for three or four hours. And then by the time I wake up in the morning, I've got all my videos ready to upload to the client. Super simple, super easy, and one to look out for. Now, the next thing I recommend you guys checking out is a service called Backblaze. This is an app as well that runs in the background on your computer and it simply uploads all your stuff to the cloud. Now I have terabytes and terabytes worth of data and it uploads everything onto the cloud. It's got unlimited storage and over Christmas, my hard drive, my four terabyte Western digital hard drive decided to fail on me. and thankfully all my data was safe on the cloud and then you've got two options you can either just download everything off the cloud or order a hard drive and get your refund when you send it back i highly recommend this i had multiple client projects that i was gonna lose but thankfully it was all saved on the cloud and it saved my backside it's a pretty cheap monthly subscription but man is it worth it highly recommend it check out the link in the description next app i use quite a lot is one called downy ford now this app i started using lately this one right here allows you to download youtube videos and vimeo videos now future dave here while i was editing this i've used downy for a bit longer and you can copy paste dropbox links google drive links and it'll just download them straight away super useful back to the video you can find websites that do that. You get a million pop-ups, but this one is a paid app, but it just allows you to copy paste the link in the little download box and make your life easier. I use it a lot when I'm referencing videos or on the channel, if I'm referencing one of Josh's or Herman's or Nick's videos. I use it for client work all the time when people send videos over to reference and it's easier workflow wise to scroll through your video in your video editor rather than having to go back to YouTube or Vimeo and scroll back and forth. I know it's a simple thing. It's a paid app. I know, but it saved me a lot of time just having that option. Now, the next two are by this developer called Camille Pekala. I think I'm saying the name right, but this is a plugin to use in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's called True Exif, and it gives you access to all the Exif metadata of a photo or video file in Premiere Pro. So you can read things like speed, aperture, ISO without switching to other programs. This is a great plugin because in my case, I use it for client work all the time. I get sent a lot of data and most of it's filmed on auto some of the times. And it's just good having that option of being able to coach your clients on how to use the best settings possible for the best possible footage. Now, the next one by Camille is called Drag Zoom Pro. It's an extensive for Premiere Pro. And if you do any kind of tutorials or screen recording tutorials, it makes your life so much easier because you can zoom in an area without having to keyframe things. I personally do not like keyframing in Premiere Pro. It makes workflow very glitchy and longer. And this has made my life a lot easier because you can select an area, you can choose your favorites, and it zooms into that area. And you can set all these different parameters of making it smooth without having to keyframe a thing. Again, I know this one's a paid app, but man, it saved me so much time and it's made my life a lot easier. Check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. The next two are file management apps I use. One is called Omni Disk Sweeper. And this one right here, it allows you to quickly find large unwanted files and sweep them into the trash. It makes my life easier. I had some iPhone updates from three or four years ago that were taking up about 16 gigs of memory that I wouldn't have known were there unless I had this app. So massive thanks to these guys. And yeah, it's one of them that is simple and it just works. 
The other one I use for a MacBook, and this one again is a paid one, is called Clean My Mac. Now this one's got a bunch of extra stuff like malware removal, mail attachments that you don't need anymore. And it really helps you to go through all your stuff and just get rid of all the extra fluff and stuff you don't really need. The next app is called Pipifier. I use this all the time for two reasons. One is to follow tutorials. So if I'm on YouTube, for example, I'll go to 10 Music Effects by Herman. What this allows you to do is simply have this picture in picture mode. You can have the screen right there while the video is playing and then you can be using Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects to follow along. I'd usually use my phone to do that, but having it on one screen really helps. And the second one is to basically watch sports and YouTube videos while I work. It's nice having that little corner with uh, some interesting stuff happening. As far as I know, this plugin is available for Safari and Chrome. It's free to use and it works great. So check it out. Of course, the service we all use on this channel is Envato Elements to bring you this video today. And it's made my life easier, especially for client work, animations, text animations, stock footage, anything I need. They literally have millions and millions of assets and anything I need is pretty much there. If it doesn't take me 100% there, it takes me 70, 80% there clients are happy i'm happy i get my work done faster it's literally a no-brainer they've got your first month for nine dollars if you follow the link below check it out let's check out some comments darren thompson says nice video i learned a couple of things and look forward to using them i'm really glad sir motif media says man you guys are killing the tutorial game right now thank you we have been hard at work and the guys have been doing an excellent job i personally get a buzz when i see a tutorial up and I get to watch the guys and see what they're up to. NLE Ninja FX says, nice shout out to Knights of the Editing Table. Yeah, check them out. They've got an amazing array of apps that respectfully need their own tutorials in themselves. They've got Arrow I use quite a lot. They've got one called Watch Tower that makes your file management so much easier. And they've got a monster called Excalibur, which uh, yes, it will need its own tutorial in the future. Crave Nino says the paper transition has been very useful in the last year. A lot of editors using it and this video resolves the problem for whoever was wondering how to do it. So I'm really glad I broke this down and I actually forgot to put one transition in there. So I'm going to pop it into the next video. I know for a fact that Josh checks out all the comments and we all do. We really appreciate them. Like, subscribe, comment below if you've got any suggestions for future videos. If you want to say hi to me personally, Dave the Greco is my G handle. Till next time. Take care. Peace.